What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review. And tonight we're going to be looking at Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2003 Budweiser Chevrolet Monte Carlo race version from uh, Phoenix International Way Raceway back in 2003. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into this review. So this is my newest car as of the recording of this video. It's got a lot of likes on my Instagram. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to beat the William Byron car out as my most liked car on Instagram, which kind of shocked me because um, I didn't think uh, I didn't think that the uh, this car was all that rare, but um, I, I think these uh, Dale Jr. race versions are slowly starting to get harder and harder to come by now, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised about. So. <laughs> I decided that I better start working on my Dale Jr. race version collection. So uh, let's go ahead and get into some details of the car. Whoa, got a little bit of a close up there. So on the front we have Monte Carlo and 8. And of course we have our uh, short track brake ducks right here. Which is uh, pretty cool. This is the first car I have with, that, uh, with these decals on here. Which definitely makes it a... a makes it unique and uh in my opinion makes it you know like very recognizable as a short track car or high braking track i don't really know if you would consider phoenix a short track it's not a bigger track it's just definitely a high braking track so we have to have those uh uh air ducts right there so on the hood we got budweiser king of beers try to get this thing open oh there we go so there's a look at your 2003 engine detail, which is immaculate, as always. Good old days. <clears throat> and under the hood, we have Bud, King of Beers. Uh, try to put it down without hurting it. There we go. And uh, we don't really have anything on. We don't have, like, uh, any visor tape or whatever. We don't have any black tape right here above the windshield, which I don't think they started doing that actually adding that to the cars until uh, 2000, the 2004 race versions, which is kind of weird. I don't know, it just it doesn't have it on this one and also doesn't have on the Talladega, 2003 Talladega race one. On the top here we have the 8 and the E. I always loved the e, uh, these these DEI cars from 2003 and 4. Um, and right here, I'm not really sure, I, I guess this is supposed to be like your transponder antennas and whatnot. Which, uh, it doesn't actually have the antennas, but it has that. Which is funny, because it's lacking the, uh, camera right here. Camera decals. It did have a, it did have a, a roof camera in that race, I remember. There's that. And on the deck lid, we have the, the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated E logo, with his Dale Earnhardt Senior Signature. And, uh open the deck lid look at our fuel cell there it is our typical fuel cell right there and on the bumper we have budweiser.com we got eight and we got the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated logo right there as well let's take a look at the right side of the car that's um, you can tell there's a lot of dirt and grime on this car we got Dracar 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 Nor I'm still not sure how you actually pronounce that. Oh, excuse me. You got safety clean. Whatever that K is. Uh, Napa. We have Budweiser. And on the C post we have Remington and Dale Earnhardt .com, Dale .com. On the C post we have Champion, Cheryl Williams in Cincinnati. Right here in front of the left front wheel is Ritz and Snap-on. Let's go over some of the little damage. We've got some tire buildup and whatnot. Around the wheel wire right there, a little piece of tape on the W of the Budweiser. Right here we have some dirt and grime around the exhaust here, and uh, got some scratching up on the eight. Some dirt and grime. Got our contingencies right here. It's something I just want to go ahead and point out. Um, on the standard 2003 of this car, uh, they did not have the uh, Powerade. Uh, uh, that was the uh, 
I believe that was for the Fastest Pit Crew Award. I think the McDonald's Powerade Fastest Pit Crew Award, and it and it didn't have uh, the Circle EA contingency logo. It had the square one on the uh, on the on the standard 2003 scheme, and it did not have the MBNA logo. And there's our other contingencies and whatnot right there. The last year of 76. Let's take a look at some more of the damage. We have some dirt and grime up here around the front wheel well. Got tape around the front leading edge of the car. We got lift. We got the uh, marks on the tire itself. Left front eight. Take a look at the uh, right side of the car. We got some more damage. Nothing to really talk about as far as sponsors go. Right here on the right front fender, we have some damage. This was actually bent in on the actual car, but uh, they didn't really do it. They didn't, didn't really have that feature on there, which I'm fine with. But it was just kind of bent up. I remember them actually talking about it. I remember this race real, real vividly, and I don't know why. I think it was one of the first races I watched the last 30 laps of real vividly. I watched a lot of that race. I don't know. I'm going to stop rambling and keep on going with this review. I apologize for that. So let's take a look at the uh, got a sticker or something on the Goodyear. We got our uh, donuts or and scrapes on the right side here. I think he got in a tangle with Ryan Newman. I think that's where he got these from, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually, I ought to go rewatch that some of that race on uh, YouTube. Got more dirt and grime, a little dirt and grime on the rear front. Let right rear cord panel right there. Pretty much does it all for the damage. Um, so let's take a look under the car. There's our detail under the car there. The more and more I look at these uh, old action cars, the more and more I miss them. But um, anyway, that's pretty much it for the car. So here's the box, and this is when they uh, this car is actually released in 2004. Um, on the box we have a picture of the car and Dale Jr. celebrating race version and Dale Earnhardt Jr. won the two, the 500 mile NASCAR Winston Cup race at Phoenix International Raceway on November 2nd, 2003 got Action 124 scale adult collectible got the same picture of Dale Jr. in the car right here and we got his uh, signature right there <clears throat> which something to point out worth pointing out 2004 he changed the signature on his car the D changed to that and also the junior change, which up until 2004, it always had looked like this. So I've always thought it was kind of funny how his signature changed ever so slightly. There's a Dale Jr. Uh, signature we know today. Right here we have 2004. This is a 2003 car released in 2004. So. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. number eight Budweiser PIR win race version. 2003 Monte Carlo total production of 7,116. Got the same picture over there on this side. Got Action 124 scale car, sock car and then our legal stuff right there. And this was actually a uh, one of the first like uh, I believe first race race win sleeves. Um, actually made so that's pretty cool but anyway that's pretty much it for this video I really love this uh, really love this car I'm really glad to have it to my collection uh, a lot of you guys like it as well uh, just a really cool car I got both of his 2003 race wins now uh, like I said I remember this very I remember this race very vividly it's almost scary how vividly I remember it so and this is one of my favorite Dale Jr. paint schemes. So, But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, you can go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram page at jpat underscore diecast too. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And have a great day or night wherever you may be. And we will see you on the next one.